Today, I am giving you an overview of the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Omnibus. Welcome back to Comics Are Dope. I'm BJ Kicks, and it's been a while since we did a good old fashioned omnibus overview. But today, from the good folks at Organic Price Books, I've got the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Omnibus. And we're going to take a look. This is 18 issues, a ton of extras. It's amazing. So if you want to grab yourself a copy, go ahead and do so from Organic Price Books. You can use my coupon code BJKicks at checkout, or if you're buying three books or more, you can use the code BJKicks, ship it together, uh, and you'll save 5% off of that purchase. So huge shout out to Organic Price Books for sponsoring this video and for sending this book in pristine condition. Let's look inside the contents. All right, today's the day. It is time to dig in to the Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Omnibus. Listen, they tried to pump fake. They tried to tease. They solicited this. They canceled it. They brought it back. And it is finally here in my possession. And I'm excited to go through this. So first of all, we've got this mashup cover uh, by Freddie Williams II, Kevin Eastman, and Jeremy Caldwell. Love this cover. Um, just a preview of things to come. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Complete Adventures of the Dark Knight and the Heroes in a Half Shell collected in omnibus format for the first time. Now, this collects Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issues one through six, Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two issues one through six, and Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three, Turtles in Time. I'm joking. <laughs> issues one through six um, and hundreds of pages of behind the scenes material, which we are going to look at here. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and take off this dust jacket so that you can see just how beautiful this book really is. This is amazing. It's great. Uh, so as you can see, we got we got a we got Krang here in a robot body. We got a bunch of different turtles. We got Eastman turtles. It's basically the same image um from the cover but there's more 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 it's like that dude on men in black that wanted sugar also kingpin from daredevil anyway uh we got more art here by freddie williams the second here on the bookend pages love them shredder bebop and rocksteady krang man we are already we're already speaking my language. Now, Batman and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are two staples of my childhood. Quite literally, some of my earliest memories of cartoons, period, are from uh, Batman and the Ninja Turtles. So the fact that we have this all written by James Tynion IV, by the way, uh, it's just really cool. So we've actually got a table of contents, which is cool. Uh, Basically, these are three individual mini series that they do kind of tie together. We've got a brand new foreword by Kevin Eastman, um, which is really cool. I haven't read it yet, so I should do that. We got another foreword, this one by Freddie Williams II, probably uh, from the first collected edition. Uh, but anyway, or the deluxe edition, I should say. Here's another cover by Freddie Williams II. This is to Batman TMNT issue one. And there we go. We're getting started. Love the little uh, variant cover there on the back sides of the covers. So as you can see, we had a table of contents. What we did not get was a uh, our page numbers. There are no page numbers on this book. And I'm just flipping through. Uh, this is a story I've read most of the first volume, uh, Batman TMNT uh, number one or volume one you want to call it that. I've not read the second Batman TMNT miniseries. This book got solicited last year and then the solicitation was canceled. And I was like, man, I was really hoping to get all of this story all together in an omnibus because once again, there's two properties I watched like all the time as a kid. It's Batman and the Ninja Turtles. So we got Shredder, we got Penguin, already it's a mashup for the sake of mashups i love it um it's funny i've been watching or i've been reading a ton of different turtles things and 
The other mashup that uh, I've been reading or I've read was the Power Rangers Ninja Turtles mashup. Uh, there have been two volumes of that so far. And who knows, maybe we'll get a third and then we'll get a Power Rangers Ninja Turtles omnibus from IDW and boom. Gotta say, got a note, by the way. Oh, there's a nice Raz Al Ghul. This art is amazing. The art by Freddie Williams is more than worth the price of admission, if I do say so myself, and I do. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, and these turtles just look amazing. Uh, amazing. Nice appearance of Casey Jones there. But yeah, the Power Rangers Ninja Turtles mashup was really good. And uh, this mashup was pretty good as well, at least what I've read of it. Now, I did watch the Power Rangers Ninja Turtles movie. I'm not sure how much the plot like sticks with the, uh, the original six issue miniseries, because I don't really remember much of uh what i read from this series um so i'm excited to basically go into this blind like a brand new reader we got turtles we got damien we got uh, raz al ghul one thing i did like was the sort of mashup or the matchups whoops i did like the matchups between all the different parties uh as far as how who you know when they do a mashup it's like Who's going to team up with who? Damien and Raphael made a lot of sense to me. Uh, Donnie and Tim Drake would make sense. Uh, I think it was Donnie and Oracle in the movie. Um, there's a lot of different things that it's just like, you know what? It works, Mr. Freeze. But I'm mostly just excited to experience this for the first time as a comic fan. When I first got into comics, I want to say the Batman TMNT it was on its second miniseries when I got into comics. And that was a big part of the reason why I never read it because, oh, I gotta get, I gotta get the first one first. Uh, a curse that I've, I've had for quite some time. Um, but man, just thumbing through it, this art is spectacular. Now, this collects three six issue miniseries and the cover price on this omnibus is $100. And I think, a very valid question is, is it worth it? Should I pay that price for so little content? And I think your mileage is going to vary depending on how much you love Batman, how much you love the Turtles, and how much you've been dying to see them together. For me, because this is like a, it's a collaboration, but it's also a partnership between two different publishers, uh, IDW lending their characters to DC, uh, to publish them or them working out whatever agreement. And here we are in volume three. Uh, can't remember what they called this. Crisis in a half shell. I was going to say crisis on infinite turtles. And as you can see, we got turtles from a bunch of different dimensions <laughs> uh, meeting up in Gotham. So that's pretty cool. We got to see Kevin Eastman drawing pages, which Kevin Eastman drawing the turtles. It just doesn't get better than that. Um, but yeah, your mileage is going to vary as far as how much you want to, what you want to spend your money on. But because collaborations like this are hard to come by and comic book publishers don't, uh, always work as friendly and as well together as you would hope. Whenever something like this happens, the same with like Marvel versus DC or JLA Avengers, I'm like, I want to get this in a printed format. In case it goes away, in case the licensing gets crazy. Right now, you can read all three of these series on the DC Universe Infinite app. I should note. Um, but in case that ever changes, I just wanted to make sure I got my copy secured. And no one can take the print away from me on my bookshelf. Except the fire or something. But yeah, man. Very cool. And that's the end of the series. The, the book is done. Uh, so... This much of it is extras, quite a bit of extras. And what the extras are, cover galleries. If anything, this was a variant cover scheme if I've ever seen one. And you got so many beautiful covers. Art Germs got a cover. Neil Adams had covers. Uh, Freddie Williams had a bunch of like sketch covers, ink covers, partially covered covers, or partially colored 
covers. Um, I mean, there's a who's who of artists doing covers for this book. So Tyler Kirkham, Ivan Reyes, Eddie Nunez. There's a Kevin Eastman right there. Just so many amazing covers on this book. Like I said, at various different stages, we see a penciled cover, we see an ink wash cover. Just, man, man, just beautiful. And I love that this cover gallery is full pages. It's not thumbnails like they did for some reason with the absolute three jokers. We got full page covers. I got to note, this is the cover that was originally solicited to come on the cover of this omnibus. And I think it would look better with this. That trade dress just looked good in the sky. But hey, whatever. Can't complain. If it's that serious, you can get a custom dust jacket made. I probably won't because I don't have that much time to care. But it's what's on the inside that counts. So we got that. That was just a cover gallery. And now we've actually got a table of contents for the extras. Oh, that's wild. So the extras have page numbers. I didn't even realize that. The stories don't, but the extras have page numbers. So you can see series, pitches, sketchbook, and development art, cover development, miscellaneous art and sketches from like Comic Cons and stuff like that. So if you were a fan of this series, this collected edition is giving you more than your money is worth. And I think it honestly did live up to the $100 cover price. Now, of course, I got this at a discount from uh, Organic Price Books, and you can do the same by using my discount code or just clicking the link in the description. It will apply the discount for you. Um, so definitely grab this at whatever discount you can. I had some rewards points, so I think it ended up costing me like $60. And $60 for this is a steal. $100 is, I think it's, I think $100 is right on par with what it's worth but $60 just felt great. But yeah, man, all the extras, all the sketches, this is the type of stuff I like to see because you don't get that in your single issues. You don't get it in trade paperbacks all the time. This was awesome. And we even got the character designs from the animated series. So a lot to like about the contents of this book. And speaking of, they've come to a close really really awesome so like i said if you are interested in grabbing this book go ahead and do so you can get yours at organicpricebooks.com i didn't even mention donatello and batman here on the french flap but go to organicpricebooks.com use the code bj kicks to save yourself a couple of dollars on this and uh use the code bj kicks ship it together if you're gonna buy two three save as much money as possible but that's gonna do it for me i will see you guys in another video real soon. Until then, stay safe. I don't know what you're reading. Maybe it's TMNT and Batman. Whatever it is, hopefully it's something dope. Peace.